this month's SA Life magazine, I'm devoting the whole feature to dead bread, as we call it at home. It's a subject close to my heart because I hate the idea of waste, particularly of good quality artisan bread like this one. And it's really simple. At home, I make a lovely dish with mushrooms and bread. And I just need half a cup of parsley, two cloves of garlic, the zest of one whole lemon, and we'll need the juice later. Then I like to add some anchovies, but if you don't like them, you can leave it out. It just means you'll have to add a little bit of salt to the mixture later. And then go into your garden, find some nice herbs like rosemary, thyme, some sage if you've got it, or chervil, whatever you've got growing. Keep everything nice and coarse. This is a very rustic dish. Now, what we need to do is pop all of that into our big bowl over here. Like that. And our lovely herbs from the garden. Don't bother chopping those too finely. Now, 500 grams of mushrooms. About a cup of the bread, which is just coarsely chopped. Like that. You could do it in the food processor, but I've just used a knife. And we need a big tablespoon of parmesan. Oh, I'll put in another little extra bit. Some pepper. And the juice from that lemon that we zested. Olive oil, of course. That's about two tablespoons. And a splash, maybe two tablespoons of white wine or brandy, if you like. That's also very nice. Give that a good toss. And add some salt if you haven't put in the anchovies at this point. Now I'm going to put it into my uh, Bakewell paper, just like that. And I've secured that also with some alfoil underneath. So it's just a question of folding that up like that and making a nice secure parcel. Now just for security, I'm also going to put it into a baking tray like that and pop that in the oven for about 20 minutes at 200 degrees. After about 20 minutes, take it out of the oven and very carefully, because remember there'll be a lot of steam, open up the parcel like so. Oh, I wish you could smell that. It smells heavenly. And give it a good toss. And then we're going to put it back into the oven for another 10 minutes, just so the mushrooms brown up. Oh, lovely. Now, just pop that onto a lovely rustic dish like that. Finish it off with some freshly chopped parsley, a little bit extra parmesan. And what a gorgeous side dish for a barbecue. But I've had this for breakfast as well. In Italian, we call this funghi in cartoccio, and it's a gorgeous little dish. If you like this recipe, download it from our website. And remember, in this month's SA Life magazine, we'll have a lot more dead bread recipes for you to try.